in my mixer already. We have uh, nine ounces of cake flour. It's really important to use cake flour because um, it's going to produce a lot delicate, a lot more delicate cake. And we're going to mix all of our dry ingredients. This is baking powder. I pre-measured all this just so I don't have to be messing with it while we're filming. Sea salt. We're gonna go ahead and put that on our mixer with our paddle attachment. I've got my scale out because I wanted to just note that everything that I'm using I went ahead and pre-measured and I used my kitchen scale for that. Um, if you guys don't know, really quick, um, a typical scale will have ounces, pounds, grams, and kilograms. For this recipe, Liz uses grams. No, she uses ounces. And basically, if anyone doesn't know, you take your bowl or whatever you're going to use and it's going to measure however much the bowl weighs and then you're going to tear it out and bring it to zero and then you can pour your ingredients in there and it will measure it perfectly for you and there's no guessing. Okay, so here we have a stick and a half of room temperature butter. It's not too soft. It's, um, it's very warm here in South Texas, so I leave mine fairly firm whenever I start to bake. And I put it in chunks, that way it'll break down quicker in the flour. It's crumbly and we're going to go ahead and put our wet ingredients together. We've got three eggs. We've got two teaspoons of vanilla, two ounces of oil, vegetable oil, and then eight ounces of milk. The important thing with this recipe is that we're going to mix it in two parts. We have our dry ingredients in here right now and we are only going to put in just enough of this liquid mixture to get it wet and we're going to mix this on a medium high for about two minutes. This is what your batter should look like right now. Very thick. And at this point you really want to go and take your spatula and get all this off of your sides. And 
and scrape the bottom. Okay, then we're gonna add in half of our liquid and mix again. of our egg mixture and our final mix. Nice and a golden color. Now Typically, if I was going to not use these today, which I'm not, I would wrap this up with the parchment paper still on it with plastic wrap and I would put them in the freezer. And um, I will just say that a freezer is absolutely one of my favorite tools when I'm caking because it locks in, especially for scratch cakes like this, it locks in a lot of moisture and very, very delicious flavor. So you can see that this is very delicate and spongy. Let me see if I can pick this up. Very beautiful. This is the best recipe ever.